Hey everyone, popular investment manager Kathy Wood is selling Nvidia stock to buy shares of Tesla stock. In recent days, she's made several sales of Nvidia stock and purchased Tesla stock. That seems surprising to me, but I'm going to take a look at these two stocks, Nvidia and Tesla, to try and understand is Kathy Wood making a mistake here by selling Nvidia to buy Tesla shares? It's an interesting comparison, so let's take a look. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, like I mentioned earlier, you can see several buys of Tesla stock from Kathy Wood. On April 2nd, she bought 10,000 shares. On April 2nd, again, 42,000 shares purchased. And you can see sales of NVIDIA shares as well to fund these purchases of Tesla shares. On April 1st, you saw 2,000 shares sold of NVIDIA. And on the same day, April 1st, you saw 22,000 shares purchased of Tesla and another 182,000 shares purchased of Tesla. And on April 2nd, you see another sale of NVIDIA for 1,905. 59 shares so you can go through the list here and you can see kathy wood has been selling nvidia shares to fund purchases of tesla or it doesn't have to be direct where those funds are going directly into tesla but overall you can see more sales of of nvidia and more purchases of tesla that's interesting to me especially when we look at the performance of Tesla and Nvidia in the last, oh, I would say year and a half or so since 2013. Let me draw your attention here in 2013 where these two stocks just went in different directions. Tesla shares kind of have been flat since 2023, whereas Nvidia shares have absolutely exploded to $870 per share up from around the same price where Tesla was, right? For all of 2022, Nvidia shares were priced lower than Tesla, but Tesla stock has been on an absolute downtrend since late 2021. Remember, 2021 was the peak of the electric vehicle frenzy when people were buying nearly any company that even showed you a picture of an electric vehicle. People were rushing into these EV stocks companies that some of them are now headed towards bankruptcy reached market capitalizations in the billions of dollars and tesla was a beneficiary of that trend tesla was one of the few of those ev companies that was actually demonstrating profitable growth and increases in cash flow some of those other ev companies were just showing you pictures of electric vehicles and having holding presentations of electric vehicles and their stock valuations were soaring so you can understand why tesla benefited tremendously from that trend but now could nvidia be experiencing a similar frenzy right just like electric vehicle stocks were in a frenzy in 2020 and 2021 is the same thing happening with artificial intelligence and ai stocks is this now the latest frenzy fueled with hype and enthusiasm and followed by a crash is that inevitable or ev st are ai stocks gonna crash like ev stocks crashed since 2021 maybe maybe but the big difference I've noticed here between the EV frenzy in 2020 and 2021 and the AI frenzy here in 2023 and 2024 is that the AI frenzy is fueled by tangible results, by revenue, profits, and cash flow, and not just by one company, not just from NVIDIA. Several companies, including NVIDIA, are highlighting increasing soaring exploding profits cash flow and and revenue so that's the big difference compared to 2020 and 2021 where the ev enthusiasm was just primarily fueled on hope and enthusiasm there wasn't tangible evidence yet to suggest that any of those dozens of newer ev companies were going to generate profitability at any point in their future right i mentioned tesla's arguably the only one in the EV industry that's generating profit and cash flow. And I'm including, you know, the EV charging companies in this bunch here where 
They've demonstrated growth in revenue, but they haven't demonstrated profitable growth. So that's the big differentiator here between EVs and AI. So if I was to make a you know prediction, I would say that AI stocks, maybe there will be some that crash the way EV stocks crashed, but overall the AI investment boom has stronger legs and is better supported than the EV investment boom was in 2020 and 2021. And I can show you here in terms of trailing 12 month revenue. Look at the explosion in Nvidia's revenue here. From less than 30 billion in trailing 12 month revenue, it's more than doubled to 60.92 billion in less than a year. That's what I'm talking about when I suggest that there's legs behind it. There's tangible revenue growth. Whereas Tesla in recent quarters has relatively flatlined, 96.77 billion in trailing 12 month revenue. They last week reported decreasing delivery numbers. And so I wouldn't be surprised if their revenue growth when they report it in the next couple of weeks is actually flat or down year over year. So. Kathy Wood is going from an explosive growth company to one that's flatlining and questions remain whether it will return to growth or whether it has already reached its peak. That's an interesting situation here for Kathy Wood. Also, if I look at operating profit margin, it's followed the growth in revenue, right? Look at Nvidia's operating profit margin exploding from nearly 17% all the way up to 54.12%. So that revenue growth that I showed you on the previous slide, that's revenue that's profitable. That's profitable revenue growth. That's not revenue growth by telling your customers, here, take our product and just pay us half the price or a quarter of the price. We just wanna demonstrate revenue growth for our investors. We just wanna show our investors that we're growing revenue. We don't really care about profits right now just buy it what price will you buy it at okay sale confirmed right that's not what's happening with nvidia in fact it's the opposite nvidia is growing revenue and profit is exploding while people are waiting and literally begging nvidia for their products and services right so this is tangible this is not hype or enthusiasm exclusive really right there is hype and enthusiasm surrounding the ai and there are some ai stocks like i've talked about that are uh overvalued in my opinion i won't mention them in this video i've done that in other videos but nvidia is one that i've felt is undervalued and its revenue and profits are exploding and look at tesla's operating profit margin here after peaking at above 15%, it's falling down to 9.19%. And again, considering deliveries decreased in the latest quarter, considering that deliveries decreased even after several, several thousands of dollars of price cuts from Tesla, this operating profit margin is likely heading lower. So again here, Kathy Wood going from a company that's expanding profitability, expanding revenue, to one that's decreasing revenue decreasing profitability a rather curious decision to be sure if you look at return on investment capital again nvidia over the last five years has been better than tesla for the most part in this metric and especially in recent year in the recent year at 73.88 percent compared to 26.87 percent for tesla again going from the better performing business to the lower performing business. And you might say, well, that's because the valuation, right? That's because the valuation Tesla stock has been flat this last year while Nvidia stock has exploded. So it's due to recover, it's due for a mean reversion. But if you look at the forward price to earnings ratio, even though Nvidia's price has increased, it's still cheaper than Tesla stock. When you're looking at the forward PE, Nvidia is trading at a forward PE of 28.9 and Tesla is trading at a forward PE of 42.73. It's significantly more expensive than Nvidia. Tesla stock is roughly 50% more expensive than Nvidia. So it's not that the price is better for Tesla, 
yes, you can look at the recent performance in the price and say that there's mean reversion that's likely due. But in terms of valuation, NVIDIA is still significantly cheaper because that growth in price was supported by earnings and cash flow. You're getting so much more in NVIDIA stock in the last few quarters than you were getting just a year and a half ago. So if you're paying a higher price, that higher price is justified because you're getting so much more. Now, if you look at analyst expectations for the next five years, they expect NVIDIA to grow earnings per share by 34.93% for the next five years. And they expect Tesla to grow earnings per share by 14.1% for the next five years. So if you say, if you argue that, oh, you're just looking at the past and the next five years, it looks better for Tesla. Well, according to Wall Street analysts that are following NVIDIA and Tesla stock, they think that NVIDIA's growth expectations for the next five years are more than twice that of Tesla's earnings per share expectations. So no matter how I slice it and dice it here, NVIDIA looks like the better investment compared to Tesla. However, I often say with popular investment managers like Kathy Wood or billionaire investors like Warren Buffett, Bill Ackman, and others, and then companies themselves, when they make investments in another company, they're not only doing it because of valuation. They're not only doing it because they think the stock is undervalued. They have other purposes for purchasing stock. There's other strategic reasons that you and me might not know about that they're buying these stocks. And so I always caution my viewers, don't follow into these investments because one person is making them and because you think this person is a good investor or bad investor, right? Do your own due diligence, do your own research and come up with your own conclusions on whether or not you think these stocks are buys or sells and not just follow one investment manager in and out of trades. And this is one example. So it, now I'll say again, I'll repeat, in my opinion, I prefer NVIDIA stock over Tesla, but I can't say that Kathy Wood is making a mistake because she has her own reasons for buying and selling certain investments. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.